Hey guys, right now we are going to start ear tagging some of our yearling does. Um, the, the reason that we're going to tag them is so that I can keep track of who their mother is, who their father is, uh, and then we'll know uh, which bucks they should be bred to, we'll know who their parents are, um, just if, if they turn out to have really good genetics or not, then we'll know. And we're also going to give them some, give them a shot at the same time of this vaccine that we give. Um, we have to, we'll give one now, and then we have to give it again in a month, basically 30 days. So we're going to start catching the girls and putting the ear tags in. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Some of them always do a little bit better with it than others. Some just think it's the end of the world, but we'll see what happens. We've got a couple sows over there that do not like the boar, so they get after him all the time. So I'm going to get my syringe ready, and then I'm going to go help catch one of these girls. And then the girls, you always like to tag them. I'll uh, take the girls in one ear and the boys in another ear. So we're going to do the girls in the left ear. There you go. That's not so bad. All right. That one is number five, seven. I'll give her her shot. There you go. And her name is Case. Some of them don't have names yet, so we're gonna have to come up with names for some of these girls. All right, this one is number five zero. And her name is Hemingway. <laughs> there we go. With the goats, we always want to try to give them a shot either in their front shoulder, like in this area, or in their back, um, back here somewhere. A lot of times with goats, if they're using them for shows, they don't want, sometimes it'll develop a little bit of a bump where you give them a shot. So then they'll actually do it in their armpit so that it's not visible. All right, so I'm gonna explain the CD and T vaccine a little bit that we are giving to the, the goats. So if you can see this, um, the CD and T vaccine that I get, uh, I can usually just buy it at a local like, uh, Mills Fleet Farm or running something. So with the CD and T vaccine, you just have to give one shot and then in 28 days, 21 to 28 days, you give the booster shot. And this is given sub Q, which is below the skin, not into the muscle. And this is for, um, it's a really long word, that, but there's another word that it stands for it. Entrotoxemia, which is overeating disease, um, and then it's also for tetanus. So this is given to cattle, sheep, goats, uh, the same shot, just different doses is used for them. Um, a lot of times the, they get the overeating disease with if they have um, high concentrations of grain and not a lot of roughage, roughage being hay or alfalfa or grass. So that's why you want to give the CD and T vaccine on a regular basis, which is um, a yearly. It should be given on a yearly. Um, it's given to the, the to the kids, and then it's also given to the does before they have babies. And there is a 21 day withdrawal on there, which that means that it should be given to an animal 21 days before they are slaughtered. So if there's an animal that you intend to send to 
um, butcher, you know, then or or a livestock market where it's, there's a chance it's going to go for butcher, then this should be given before the uh, 21 days so that the withdrawal is, you know, taken into effect. And when we give the CD and T, um, we just use a regular little syringe. A lot of people use the bigger syringes that you could you know fill up the whole thing and then you can just give a shot and give another one and give another one where you don't have to refill just this small type syringe that I've been using. Either one works. Um, I guess I just haven't invested in one of the larger uh, guns for giving shots yet. Probably something I should look into with the number of animals that we've got. Uh, at some point we'll probably have to do that. Oh, right ear. Left ear. No, not me. That's number five one. And that's Frosty. She's just a little baby. Some of that came out. Yeah. <laughs> you're okay, little baby. Ah! Well, you're okay. That's number five, two. And that's Frosty's sister, but she doesn't have a name yet, so we're gonna have to come up with a name for her. Snowman. <laughs> that works. Write it down. This is little little April. Her mom was April, so she's little April. Number five eight. That's number five nine. And that is that one's chili. She was she wasn't feeling very good for a couple days, so I gave her giving her a shot. And uh she was acting like she was kinda cold, that's why she's chilly. Number six zero. Got her. Does that one have a name? That is Laker. <laughs> It's like there's a line. This is uh, six four. Yeah. And I think I think she does have a name, but I'm gonna have to look it up. There you go. We got number six three. Sometimes they take their shot worse than putting that big tag in their ear. That's a big girl right there.
This is 62. And she does not have a name. Yeah. There we go. She's shedding, huh? Sometimes when the goats start shedding, it's kind of a sign that spring is coming. Which is still January, so um, that's kind of strange. She could just be shedding for some other reason, but a lot of times I'll notice along the fence that it'll be all covered in hair, and that's um, probably like a month or so before it starts to actually get warm out as the goats start to shed. So it's a good sign that spring's on the way, maybe. We've got 65, and she does not have a name. She did not like that. There you go. So the ear tags that we're putting in the the ears of the little girls are there is a number on either side of these tags. And the number on the one side, it is a number that um, the, the, the code up here, that's a number that I have designed with um, the American Boar Goat Association to identify my farm. So those are basically my farm initials. The number down here is uh, would be your number of your livestock. And then on the other side of the tag, you've got, it's a MN number. So that number is um, d given to you each farm by the state of Minnesota. And that is for eradicating what they call scrapies. Um, scrapies is, it's not really a common problem anymore, but it was a really big issue. So that's, that's why they want to track that because this tag will stay on that animal. If I take an animal, take it to a sale barn and sell it, my number is still going to be on there. So if that animal develops scrapies, then it would be tracked back to my farm. And unfortunately, a lot of times when that happens, what they do is they have to kill off the entire flock. Uh, it's a very deadly disease. It affects their central nervous system. And I, like I said, I don't think it's really an issue anymore. Um, and, and that's why they've developed the scrapie eradication program is to get rid of that. Um, this little gun here that we use to put the tags in, it's got a little button on there to hold it shut. So the way that the tags are, they've got, it just slides over this on the one side, and then on the other side, you gotta push that little tab, and then, if I put it the right way, you put it in there. And then, <clears throat> once you have it on the ear, then you just clamp it shut, and then this little this little piece will stick inside the other side and then that's what holds it inside their ear so it's just it's it's a ear piercing gun basically to put the tags in the ears so that those goats can always be tracked there is different styles of tags you'll see some that are long and thin there's lots of different options this is just the one I went with um, for the tags that we have we got all the numbers written down for all the little goats that we tagged and I have an app in my phone which is called Herd Boss and so I will get all those entered into this app and then once you have all your information in Herd Boss then you can there's different um, there's different reports you can print in there so you can have every goat sheep whatever this is actually a sheep app but it works for goats as well so you can have in there where that goat came from the different farms that they were bought from if you sell an animal you can put in there where you sold that animal to um, you could put in there the the mother and the father of the goat you put in there if they were exposed to a buck and then it will tell you the date that they should kid on uh, it'll save their birthday I mean there's there's so many different uh, things in here that you can enter information and save uh, just helps to track your goats you can enter photos in there and so it's it's really nice to have that because then you can look at your tag number 68 go into your phone to your app 
and search that information in there. See who this girl, who her dad is, who her mom is. Then you'll know who you should breed them to, who she's related to. Uh, sometimes you just get start getting a lot of the same genetics, so you want to maybe not breed an older buck to some of his relatives. Um, there's there's just so many things in there that you can track that you just can't remember all that stuff. Um, and it's better than having to write everything down on paper. So that's a very helpful app that I've started using with my goats. She wants to be front and center. She came from the sale barn, that's why she's got that little metal tag in her ear. She's a Nubian, so that's why she doesn't have any horns. She's a milking goat. Yep. There you go. Sometimes with uh, the goats, you'll have a milk goat, or there is milk breeds and there's meat breeds. I have mostly the meat breeds, but some of them are crossed with milk goats. Um, and that the reason I did that is just because I want the goats to ha the does to have more milk when they have babies. Helps the babies grow faster. Um, if you have an orphan or something, you could milk that goat for extra milk to feed that baby if the mother won't feed it for some reason. So it's just, um, just a good way to get some extra milk out of them. And if the mother does raise them, a lot of times those babies just grow a lot faster. So, um, is that the only one we got left, is that little brown one? We got number 67 here. And her name is Toto. Well, she's living here on Dorothy's farm, so. Yep. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a look at these girls and see if we got any of them left. We might be done. So we'll just kind of check them over. All right, so we got a bunch of my cousins and uh, little little cousins, I guess, or everybody's out here hanging out today and helping out. So we just had a question come up about, um, with, with ear tagging these girls, why some of their ears have this little flap on them. Well, it's actually, it's a genetic trait that one of the parents carries. And um, you'll notice it on actually quite a few of my goats, but it's, it's just a little skin flap that just didn't separate when they were growing in the womb, I guess. So a lot of times if this, if this goat was gonna be used for show, then they would actually, whoever owned it or whatever, would actually just take and cut that little skin flap that's right there and then they take like a piece of cardboard and put on either side of it and kind of tape it down just to shape the ear into the the normal just ear shape i guess um it doesn't really bother me you know the some of them it's, it's easier to tell who's who by one might have one ear that's folded up and the other one's down or you might have two goats that look real similar in their coloring but one has folded ears and the other one doesn't so um for my goats it's not really something that bothers me too much but if somebody's looking at selling registered goats and showing them then that's something that a lot of people want to fix it just it looks looks better and um, as far as the rules go for registered goats it you might actually get deductions when you're showing goats if they had that ear curl so um, that's that's the reason that uh, some of them have the ear curl I guess and, well, hope you enjoyed our video on giving the young dolings their ear tags and shots. I don't know how much they enjoyed getting the ear tags, but everybody seems to be fine with it. Uh, anyways, thanks everybody for watching, and please subscribe to our page. Post any questions you got for us. are just chilling. Got sunshine out here. Fresh bill. <laughs>